welcome back to my channel. I haven't been around for a while, but we are currently having this education tour. I'm not even home, so I'm not able to record any videos at all. But today I'm gonna do, because I haven't done a like morning routine video in a while, like from the skincare to my base foundation and stuff. So let's start. What I start the mornings with like in, let's say two or three times a week is the Nimu Exfoliating Enzyme. Uh, this is a peeling or like an exfoliant that I put on my skin. I did it yesterday, so I'm not gonna do it today. This is something you put on like a little mask, like a peeling. So you put it on and you leave it on for about three minutes and then you reactivate it with water after like, yeah, after three minutes, three minutes three minutes and then you leave it on for about eight minutes and the skin just feels super soft and very like even so this is I can really really recommend this one even for sensitive skin such as mine and after that I use my pH formula CR recovery serum And I let it sink in for a while and after I'm gonna apply my Smashbox primer oil I'm using this both as a part of my skincare routine and also in my my base routine so I'm gonna apply just a couple of drops and I'm also using oh, I'm sorry for this super dirty little tube but Eye recovery from pH formula. This is my eye cream and I'm using it underneath my eyes and around the eye area. And you shouldn't like do like this and you shouldn't put cream on your eyelids just around the eyes like this. And then I have my post recovery cream from pH formula. I have a lot of things from pH formula, but I'm out of it. This is the only thing, like only brand that keeps my skin in control. My skin is really, what can I say, it's really weird and it, it, it gets really red and I get pimples and this skincare from them really gets my skin in balance, I, I think. Unfortunately, I got a little pimple over there and that one hurts a lot, but well, I have to make friends with it, I guess. Okay, so time to do my base. I'm not that kind of person who uses a lot of products, like five different concealers and I'm using one foundation and that's what I use all over my face to cover everything. So I'm using Danessa Myrick's Vision Cream Cover in N03 and N01, so I'm gonna mix these two. These are super, super high coverage, so I am gonna mix them together with the Smashbox Primer Oil. So about 50-50 and then a couple of drops. This is the shade that I mixed together, so I'm just gonna blend it out with my it sounds so weird to say like oh this is my linda halberg sponge but the brand is actually not lh cosmetics anymore it's linda halberg it feels so weird talking like about myself as a brand but I felt like it was a better thing i'm using the like the thick part of it to apply foundation all over my face and this sponge is super super soft and you can use it wet or dry depending on how much coverage you want for the little bit tricky areas like under eyes and on the eyelids and around the nose and stuff I'm gonna use this part here you see it's slanted like this it's also cat hair on it I'm gonna set it with the Lock It Translucent set Setting Powder from Kat Von D. And I'm not just setting it underneath my eyes, I'm setting it all over my face because 
then I will get this, you know, 12 hour long lasting base. And this puff is also shaped like a triangle just because you, it should be easier to reach like under the eyes and on the eyelids and stuff. So it's a little bit of the same as the sponge. Now you may ask, why do you want a glowy base if you are putting so much powder on top? I think it's because it's easier to build up the glow later and also because I feel less dry when I do like this. Can you hear a little pimple? You hurt a lot. Now it's time for my favorite part and it's eyebrows. I'm gonna use my way too dirty infinity palette for this and I'm gonna use the shade Fornax. Uh, it may look like super black and some people get re really intimidated by oh no, should I do like my eyebrows with black? But it doesn't really turn black because you can get it really, you know, intense if you use a lot, but you can still make it really sheer if you don't use that much. So I'm gonna use it on my brows because it's a, it got this really nice ashy tone that fits eyebrows really well but I'm gonna use because now I have black hair so I can use a lot of product to make my brows look good I'm always working with the hairs so if the hair grows upwards I'm working upwards with a brush if the hair grows like downwards I'm working downwards and remember guys that the brows are not twins. They are brothers, sisters, cousins. They may not always look the same, but seriously, would someone ever like stare right into your face and look at your brows and like, hmm, your brows are not even. That person would be really rude. I'm gonna finish off with some brow gel. Unfortunately, I'm out of brow gel at the moment. I usually use the one from the brow gel because I think it's really good and it got like the it's super strong so it keeps the brows in place. So I have an old one here from Benefit that is called Ready Set Brow and it's also pretty much not no product in it at all. That was the brows. So, let's go straight to my face. When I'm doing my face, I always use the Infinity Palette. I'm starting off with highlight, usually. So I'm gonna use Virgo on my nose. Sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I use brushes depending on the result. If you use your fingers, you get a, like, more metallic, more of a metallic feeling than with your brush. And then I'm gonna use the all over brush. And I'm gonna put highlight on my cheekbones and on my forehead and also on my chin and I'm gonna do my cupid's bow as well then I'm gonna go to contour and for contour I usually use different shades because I think it's very hard to contour my nose for example uh, even after 10 years as a makeup artist I still think it's really hard to contour my own nose so I'm gonna use the Maffei, which seems like a really, really light shade, but to contour my nose, it works perfectly fine. And if you have very fair skin, you can contour your nose with this and it works really good. And then if you feel like, yeah, this feels good and I wanna do more contouring, you can go in with Cigar to enhance the color a little bit more. And then for my contour on the cheeks I'm gonna use Maffei and Cigar I'm gonna mix the two of them and it's really easy to mix these shades you, you just like do, 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 a little bit of both and if you have dark skin you can still use this palette as a contour palette because it's really nice to mix those two shades or those two shades depending on how dark and ashy warm or neutral you are and now i'm gonna use swiki and my face to warm up my face a little bit around my forehead for blush i'm gonna use andromeda to bring back the life in my face this is how i do my makeup 
like the base and my morning routine and my night routine and my face routine I basically do the same thing every day and I've done it for about one or two years now I really hope you enjoy this video even though it's very basic it's not very creative but still something you may want to know I hope you like that I'm finally back on YouTube and that you don't forget to thumbs up my video and that you subscribe to my channel and yeah I guess that's it take care guys I hope to see you very soon again bye